My story, sure. My name is David Knapp. I grew up in a small community in southern Iowa on a farm. And during those years, actually when I was about 12, my dad was accidentally killed in a farming incident and uh, we moved to a, a town nearby. Um, then my mom remarried, we blended uh, families. And, but my senior year in high school, I decided to go to college. Actually, I went to a, a Bible college in Kansas City. And at, at, during that time, I met um, my future wife, Ruth was her name, uh, at the end of my c college career why we got married. And uh, then I finished and did some seminary work. Uh, following that, we joined a, a missionary sending agency that went worldwide, and I was soon asked to be on the uh, staff at some of the training facilities. And it was while I was at the uh, actually president of a junior college Bible school that uh, she was diagnosed with cancer. And after seven years of battling cancer, she won and was elevated to heaven, leaving me with four kids. And uh, that was a difficult thing. I didn't know a human could hurt that bad. But during those times, I learned, um, kind of leaned into the, the experience of grief. It was a new experience for me as an adult, um, but uh, was able, looking back now, I was able to learn and grow from that. A year later, my, I met my second wife who had been widowed herself. She had four boys. And uh, when we got married the next year, we blended eight teenagers. Um, and live to tell about it. Well, it was a, a challenging time from then on for the next uh, 15 or 20 years. We went through a lot of processes of learning, growing, blending the families, getting all these kids married off uh, and off to school. Well, um, fast forward 15 or 20 years, my wife, my second wife, Judith, began to struggle with her health for about five years Why we weren't sure what was wrong and went to different doctors. Finally, they, it was diagnosed too late that it was pancreatic cancer. And within three months, she herself leapt into the hand, arms of Jesus, leaving me a second time as a widower. This time, however, I was all alone. No kids at home, only an empty house. And the experience drew me in again. I was it was difficult, more difficult actually, because I knew how much I was going to have to hurt, but I also knew that the process was temporary, months or a year. And so I leaned into it and I began to find opportunities to speak. And God actually spoke to me and says, don't hoard your lessons. So I knew I had to write them down, write them down. So the, I started writing uh, the next year and within a couple years, finished the book, I didn't know what to say, being a better friend to those who have experienced loss. And from that, I've been giving opportunities now to share my story and my experiences with a lot of people, helping people, men even. Uh, men oftentimes don't grieve well and uh, able to help a lot of men understand and uh, go through the grieving process and do it well. And so, yep, I am available to help out with uh, any speaking engagements that, that may come along and uh, have a website. It's called griefreliefministries.com. And you can actually order the book on the website. Thank you.